All right, everybody, good news today. It's not a bad update like yesterday. We have made some drastic changes to the build and it feels phenomenal. I am sorry for debating so many of you, as I said I was doing because I am a bad build maker in telling you to start with two-handed swords. That was a mistake. You need to switch to axes or maces right now and the preference is axes for me personally. And you will see such a huge difference in this build. Let's hop right into a showcase. Okay, so yesterday we finally pulled the trigger. We said, okay, we're not gonna do two-handed swords anymore. This is abysmal. Let's make a change. Reoriented the passive skill tree, went into my chaos orb recipe stash of weapons and instantly said, oh, I have a noble ax. And look at this. I deed it. What a beauty. Huge improvement over the two-handed sword that I was using. It's just phenomenal. That was the only item change that we made. In addition to this, Immortal Flesh. This was a suggestion from somebody in the chat. Beautiful suggestion. This has made our survivability just skyrocket. I think our life regen is around 700 life per second right now. We don't take any damage along with our max res people. And that's only going to become more and more prominent as we begin to convert our fizz damage that we're taking into fire damage. It's just an absolute beauty. We'll take a look at the tree too before we do the mapping showcase. Just show you what I changed around. Got rid of the sword cluster there, the sword cluster there. We'll also got rid of the critical multiplier cluster uh, right over here. And I added this cluster for axes. And importantly, this cluster right here. We now have the mastery that gives us rage on hit, which is great because that frees up uh, one of our gem slots right here. We're not using rage support anymore. We're using trauma support and it is beautiful. I love it. We have bone shatter now. The dollar store bone shatter because we all know why go to a fancy restaurant to have fried chicken when you can just make some from the freezer. Okay, really, because that's that's the infernal blow comparison to Bone Shatter, really. Uh, but it's super, super fun, and it's clearing amazingly. I don't believe there were any other drastic changes. I'm trying to think. Ah, we also will on this tree once more. We're going to be getting rid of these accuracy nodes once I actually get a few more regret orbs. And we are going to grab Resolute Technique. Not going to go crits. We're just... Not going to deal with evasion at all. Not going to deal with crits. We're just going to go flat damage. Okay. With that being said, I know I kind of spoiled it, but the feel is just, it's, it's much higher, everybody. Uh, let me get, let me get, it's phenomenal. That's, I had been struggling in white maps yesterday. Instantly swapped to this. Went to yellows. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Especially because I'm taking the big expedition boom node. Oh. The clear. Beautiful. We're going to go into one map right now. We're going to do the showcase. It's going to be fun. All right. Here we go. Time for some big booms. Still don't have the flasks covered. Uh, instantly. Do you see the difference? Everything just dies. Look at that. That was a rare mob. Did, did you notice? Did you notice that was a rare mob? I didn't. Of course, there are, you know, some, you know, beyond monsters that, of course, might be a little tricky. Also, uh, don't have bleeding dealt with yet. That's going to harm us, especially since we're fighting some beyond monsters right here. But you can see the difference already. Everything just explodes. You attack so much faster. The trauma is, is almost a non-issue. Too, because of our life regen. Now I'm gonna watch the scaling of the gem, make sure I don't go too insane. But you can see I'm easily clearing all this. I don't need to put down any more um, totems like I had to before, right? Also, I have Berserk, so on bosses I can go insane. I also added Infernal Blow, or Infernal Blow, Infernal Cry, per the suggestion of one of the commenters. And that is helping quite a bit with bossing by covering them in ash. So I think we were talking about it yesterday in the chat. It's like 20% more damage. Yes, and I do mean to say more. Quite a bit. Alright. Huh. 
All right, I'm going to activate Berserk here. In a, in a dangerous situation. All right. Say I'm in a dangerous situation, but uh, you, you see that? Oh, there's the boss. All right. See how this goes. Oh, it's a rough one. It's still a melee build, I will not lie. Got some consecrated ground there. Um, I do have frost bomb if I need to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Go. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Fight him, fight him. Ooh, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. All right. One down. Two to go. Slow going. We're making it. A lot of damage here. I just don't want to die. Don't want to die in a showcase. That'd be bad. Two down. One left. Stop running from me. The plight of melee. Go, come on. Oh, a lot of regen. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. See how fast my life is regenerating, though? I just put Frost Bomb on. That should help us quite a bit. Get the totems. Covered in ash. And there we are. Okay. That was a quick demonstration, and I say that facetiously. There are still some bosses, like those guys, where it does take a little bit longer. Uh, especially because I believe this is actually a map that had the unique boss cast time and everything. So, they were a little bit tougher and more move speed, more AoE. But still, far superior to where we were yesterday. Switch to axes, everybody. It's the way to go. I'm sorry for baiting people and I told you I didn't know what I was doing with swords I really wanted to make swords work they did not work unfortunately but I'm having an absolute blast here with axes now if you're hardcore maybe try out maces for stun duration and everything but if you're softcore you just go axes for the damage feels so good it actually looks way better too like the actual aesthetic of swinging the axe is better Compared to swords, with swords you're kind of flailing. With axes you're bringing them down like an executioner. Okay, I think we got most of the monsters. I'm also not immune to freeze yet, so I'm glad that wasn't a freeze box. <laughs> All right, so that was the showcase, everyone. There will be another update as we break into reds, of course, but I just wanted to get this out there after that depressing video yesterday. Swap from swords, your single target, your clear, your feel, it's all going to massively improve once you're using axes as it has here with my build. Let me know everybody in the comments, how is your league start going? Are you playing Infernal Blow? Are you playing Melee? Are you doing something a little easier, you know, like Righteous Fire? Let me get, know how it's going. Everything here is just going phenomenally. I am now an affiliate on Twitch, which is so cool, thanks to all of you. I cannot believe it. It only took one weekend of streaming and we're there. Very cool to see. All the videos on YouTube are going to continue as well. The community is just bustling in the Discord. Join our Discord if you haven't already. We are talking constantly. We're still in Global 903, although it has died down a bit after League Start. Of course, you know, we're all working again. And you can continue to expect more videos coming here on this channel. Beginning this weekend, PoE 1 Flashback Series. We're returning, plus some PoE 2 videos. It's going to be a good one. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting me on Patreon or as a YouTube member and the coming subscriptions on Twitch. Some people have already said, I'm going to subscribe to you on Twitch. Very, very nice. I'm going to get a schedule going on Twitch too. We're going to make it a regular thing. So without further ado, make sure you like, subscribe, check out more videos on this channel if you enjoy my content and make sure you keep enjoying your league start. You don't have to go fast. You can take it slow. Just enjoy yourself and have fun. Tala Moana.